Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us prepare ourselves for this Eucharist by humbly acknowledging our sins and by begging God's forgiveness, let us entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you give us new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, graciously keep from us all adversity so that unhindered in mind and body alike, we may Pursue in freedom of heart the things that are yours, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the beginning of the letter of St. Paul to Titus. Paul, a slave of God and apostle of Jesus Christ, for the sake of the faith of God's chosen ones and the recognition of religious truth in the hope of eternal life that God, who does not lie, promised before time began, who indeed at the proper time revealed this word in the proclamation with which I was entrusted by the command of God, our Savior, to Titus, my true child, in our common faith, grace and peace from God the Father 
and Christ Jesus, our Savior. For this reason, I left you in Crete, so that you might set right what remains to be done, and appoint presbyters in every town, as I directed you, on condition that a man be blameless, married only once, with believing children, who are not accused of licentiousness or rebellious. For a bishop, as God's steward, must be blameless, not arrogant, not irritable, not a drunkard, not aggressive, not greedy for sordid gain, but hospitable, a lover of goodness, temperate, just, holy, and self-controlled, holding fast to the true message as taught, so that he will be able both to exhort with sound doctrine and to refute opponents. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. The Lord's are the earth and its fullness, the world and those who dwell in it. For he founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Who can ascend the mountain of the Lord or who may stand in his holy place? He whose hands are sinless, whose heart is clean, who desires not what is vain. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a reward from God his Savior. Such is the race that seeks for him, that seeks the face of the God of Jacob. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Please all stand. Like lights in the world as you hold on to the word of life. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Things that cause sin will inevitably occur, but woe to the one through whom they occur. It would be better for him if a millstone were put around his neck and he be thrown into the sea, than for him to cause one of these little ones to sin. Be on your guard. If your brother sins, rebuke him. And if he repents, forgive him. And if he wrongs you seven times in one day, and returns to you seven times, saying, I am sorry, you should forgive him. And the apostle said to the Lord, Increase our faith. The Lord replied, If you have faith the size of a mustard seed, you would say to this mulberry tree, Be uprooted and planted in the sea, and it would obey you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, 
in recruiting someone for a job, we usually look for skills. In interviewing an applicant, we would usually ask what the person has already done or what a person could do. But listening to the words of St. Paul in our first reading today, it seems that St. Paul is looking for other qualifications. St. Paul, in our first reading, is instructing Titus on how to choose a presbyter or an elder of the community, a leader of the community, and in choosing a bishop, one who would lead and shepherd the Christian community. And if you listen carefully to our first reading, you would be surprised by the qualities St. Paul is looking for in someone who would be appointed presbyter and bishop of a community. He said, in appointing presbyters, they should be blameless, married only once, with believing children who are not accused of licentiousness or rebellious. For a bishop, St. Paul says, he must be blameless, not arrogant, not irritable, not a drunkard, not aggressive, not greedy for sordid grain, but he must be hospitable, a lover of goodness, temperate, just, holy, and self-controlled. St. Paul was not looking for skills. He did not say to Titus, if you are going to appoint a presbyter and a bishop, see to it that the person is a good administrator. He must have good management skills. He did not say that a presbyter or a bishop, a leader, should have good knowledge in finances, a good financial manager, one who knows how to handle resources. He did not even say that it is important for a leader to have high level of IQ or would have many degrees in education. What St. Paul was looking for our values. And for St. Paul, the values of a, of a person are more important than skills. In our gospel today, Jesus warns his disciples against being scandals to others. Jesus tells them that they should not cause others to sin. And what could be more scandalous than a disciple of Jesus who is killed in proclaiming God's word, who is talented in speaking about Jesus, and yet do not have the proper values the right attitudes of a disciple. Wala nang mas hihigit na iskandalo, kundi yung nagsasalita tungkol sa Diyos, nagpapahayag ng salita ni Jesus, pero taliwas ang kanyang pamumuhay doon sa kanyang sinasabi. Aanhin mo ang galing ng pagsasalita, kung ang buhay naman ay hindi naayon sa ganda ng sinasabi, yan ang skandal. And a person with skills 
but without good values could be scandalous. My dear brothers and sisters, do we still value values or do we give more importance to skills? The world measures the value of a person based on what he or she could do, based on skills. The more skills that you have, the more valuable you are. But God looks not only on our skills, but on who we are. We hope that we will have that same perspective. Minsan kasi pinapahalagahan natin ang tao dahil sa kanyang nagagawa. Marami naman siyang nagagawa. Okay na yan kahit masama ang ugali. Marami naman siyang na-accomplish. Okay na yan kahit na nandaraya. Marami naman siyang ginagawa, nagdagbubunga. Kaya okay na yan kahit hindi magandang makitungo sa kapwa. We are invited today, my dear brothers and sisters, let us value good values again. Please all stand. Our Master teaches us that discipleship means radical rejection of evil. Our prayers today are offered with the will to make sacrifices to follow the Lord. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may be victorious in her struggle to fight evil in the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that Christians, believers, may have the courage to speak and act against the evils corrupting our society. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who are hardened in sin may be touched by the Spirit of the Lord to repent and change their ways. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sick may be strengthened in their trials and offer their hardships for the conversion of sinners, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our beloved dead may be led to the company of Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray in silence for our personal petitions. We remember the people who need our prayers and all the intentions offered in this Mass. Almighty God, give us a courageous faith that we may be strong and determined in our fight against evil in the world. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please all stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Look with favor, we pray, O Lord, upon the sacrificial gifts offered here. 
that celebrating in mystery the passion of your Son, we may honor it with loving devotion through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. And His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Please all kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess, profess your, your resurrection, resurrection until, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, 
and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please all kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Please all stand. Let us pray. Nourished by this sacred gift, O Lord, we give you thanks and beseech your mercy that by the pouring forth of your Spirit, the grace of integrity may endure in those your heavenly power has entered. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.